Okay, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> yes. Alright. Hey guys, how's it going? Great day? A little sunset? Uh, you know, first things first, I want to give a little shout out to uh, Kenny Edward. Um, he uh, showed me how to do the bracket on my uh, my brake. Um, I got some video to edit, but to set that up so that this doesn't hit there, brought it out that way. Um, so that was really awesome. Um, so big appreciation to him for me actually get to a point where I could get where I could actually get the uh, 10x5 on there and still have the rear brake work. Um, I couldn't tighten it without that. I will put I put that video up on the Honda Ruckus group, um, but I will try to edit that all together and put it up on YouTube at some point. Um, like I, you may not have been able to hear me, but in the last video, I um, I was talking about how I I just got a new phone, and uh, so the old one really was just getting super full, and I really couldn't get much going on it. And like I said too, you know, I was uh, struggling with myself wasn't quite getting in my head with all the little extra things that I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, um, but the main purpose of this video is uh, Ruckin' Scott called me out. Um, also, hey, happy belated birthday. Uh, I think your birthday was yesterday. Uh, with any luck, I'll upload this tonight or tomorrow. Um, but uh, Scott made a video about why he rides the bike he rides, and uh, so I can't keep track of the various uh, of the various other bikes. Um, that one is, I want to say it's KTR, but I could just be totally making that up entirely. Um, so, but uh, probably Groms. I bet they ride Groms, and eventually. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so why do I ride a Honda Ruckus? Um, you know, I was trying to think about this before I got on the bike. Um, I thought, I'll just get on the bike, I'll start riding, and jam her on, and, uh, maybe they'll come to me. Um, but I think, I think the main reason is I wanted a Honda. I wanted a scooter, um... I wanted something that was, I didn't have to play, it was cheap, um, and, you know, didn't take a lot of gas. Um, uh, I think I knew that I wanted something I could work on a little bit more. I don't think I realized how much I actually could work on a Ruckus before. Um, it's certainly why I ride now. It's just super easy to work on a ruckus. Uh, the, the tubular frame, you can pull the floorboards and stuff off, and then the engine, it's, it's just all right there and mess around with. Um, so, I mean, that's one good reason. Um, I think the, the Honda quality is what brought me to it, really. Um, favorite hill in this area right now. Hopefully get a little better at hitting that corner. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that was nice. Um, climb this hill, go back, go across, go across, see where that leads. Um, Yeah, I mean, oh, say so. Yeah, the the Honda quality. You know, like I wanted something that just wouldn't fall apart on me. You know, there's some things. It seems like the more that you work on them, the more they fall apart. You know, and um, I've always enjoyed something that's right at that perfect point of like 
through a budget, but yet really high quality. I mean, there's definitely more expensive things out there than Hondas, but man, they just, you know, they just do really good. I really feel like Japanese attention to detail really makes them build something really good. Um, the lines on it, if you look at this versus like an Ice Bear, you know, any of the Chuckuses, uh, it, it, it looks better. And I know there's maybe a lot of people out there who maybe they don't see a difference, but I think there's a distinct difference. Um, it's just, the Honda is just more refined. You know, it's, it's just better designed. The little lines, the shape, I mean, simply in the battery box alone, it's better looking. you know a couple of miles an hour gain you go from 40 to 43 44 you start getting up there towards to 45 50 you know and it's abs I can just I can go out in my own neighborhood and basically test that um, and if I had a bigger bike and I tuned it um, maybe the bigger bike would go 80 90 miles an hour Let's say I add 10, 20 miles an hour that where you know, I'm gonna go out there, what, do 100, 110 miles an hour somewhere? I mean, like, I, I legitimately, legitimately might do that. And, and that's not really the best thing for me, you know? So. I think this way I still have the fun, you can still, you know, in, in both instances, you're trying to tune tune it to be 10, 20% faster, but that's 5, 10 miles an hour on, you know, a ruckus, and, you know, that's 20, 40 miles an hour on top of 100 with a much bigger bike, you know? So, I get all, I got all the uh, experience and the pleasure, you know, of tuning it, and then going out and seeing if I really did that and if I really worked it up better. And, uh, you know, and also I think I kind of had a fraction of the cost, you know? So. I think also too there's there's something a little bit more punk, a little bit more ironic about having a machine that's sported out that's you know a scooter. Um, you you can't really take yourself too seriously. Um, I feel the same way about playing pinball, um, and it's it's a little bit geeky, it's a little bit nerdy maybe, but everybody really gets along, not too many people take themselves too seriously, um, but you can still really put a lot into your build, you can put a lot into your bike, and you get a lot of respect from, from like-minded people, and, and, you know. Good 
chance to get pulled over by the cops or something like that, I mean, they're going to be like, yeah, you shouldn't be, blah, 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 or something, but, you know, you get pulled over on a ninja or something like that, cops, yeah, you get pulled over on a ruckus, cops going to be like, what is that, you know, you get pulled over a ninja, cop pretty much thinks you're a douchebag right away, gives you a hard time, gives you a speeding ticket, and it's like, if you live in the city, now if you live, if you live out in the country, man, ruckus is a, is, is a hard life, uh, you, you know, dirt roads and then highways, like really fast roads, and you live in the city, or even suburbia to some degree, but especially the city, uh, you can you can do everything you want with a ruckus. There's plenty of places to test it, um, plenty of places and ways to enjoy it. And if you had a bigger bike, and you're in the city, it's you know unless you travel outside of the city or get up on the highway and stuff like that, like you know you kind of got to go a ways before you can actually find somewhere to open it up. So. That's pretty much it. Beautiful night, sun's pretty much set. So my guys, my dudes, everybody, um, I gotta call some people out. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm calling out uh, Caesar, of course. Um, definitely got me into a lot of this. And I am going to call out uh, Sebastian over at Small Boar. Spaz, you're called out. Um, I think we're supposed to call out three people. Um, uh, you know, like Scott called somebody out who, probably, who may or may not respond. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just so I can link to him, I'm going to call out uh, Yami Noob. I've been watching him a lot, and I know it's more motorcycles than scooters. But uh, just for the sake of, hey, if you're watching this video, you should go watch him. He's a lot of fun. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, once again, happy birthday, Scott. And uh, thanks for calling me out. And uh, hopefully I do uh, some more videos together again after this. Uh, appreciate it, man. Catch you later.